Cecilia Haddon. I'm a cat behaviour person and a raving cat enthusiast. So today I thought I'd talk about litter trays. We all need them. Every cat should have one even if they go outside. They should have one in case it's wet outside or in case they get caught short or just in case because one thing is certain we don't want cats peeing in the house do we? So what do we need for a really good litter tray? The sort of litter tray that a cat would like, not the sort of litter tray we want. So what cats would like is a very big tray. If you look at the video of my foster cat Tommy um, in my vegetable garden, naturally he chose the seed bed, you will see that he needs a lot of space to cover up his wee. He really does. And yet we give cats tiny little litter trays, really awful litter trays. The other thing is that they need clean litter trays. And do we clean them often enough? No, we probably don't. Um, there's a picture here you'll see of um, a typical bad litter tray and it's bad because it's full of stuff and that cat has got to use that litter tray and it's got to it doesn't want to step on its own elimination products does it we wouldn't we never we like nice clean lavatories so do cats so everybody should clean their litter tray at least once a day preferably twice if they don't want to, um, too much of a smell and if they've got lots of cats they should do it probably as many times as they've got cats and of course they should have as many litter trays as they've got cats so, what else do cats want with their litter tray? Well, they want to be able to dig. Um, Tommy needed to dig in his seed bed quite deep. I think he dug about two inches deep at least. So the general idea is that every litter tray should have two and a half inches of litter in it. And what kind of litter do they want? Well, that depends on the individual cat. So if you're getting a cat from a rescue centre or from a breeder, start with the kind of litter tray litter that they're used to because they don't like change actually cats really don't like change actually i don't like change but um, they don't definitely not on the litter train so what we've got is a big tray cleaned regularly two and a half inches of litter and also if possible in a secluded place because really it's not very nice going to the loo publicly is it i don't like it i don't want the sort of lavatory which has no door on it so cats want their litter tray in a nice little corner of the house where they can um they're not going to be interrupted by too many people so maybe you do want to change the kind of litter you've got this cat from a rescue center and um you don't like the kind of litter you're using that the rescue center has given them so if that's so do it very slowly. Just put a handful of the new litter in every time you clean up the tray. Um, so do that over, I would say, two weeks, maybe even three if you've got a fussy cat. Um, and if the cat starts going outside the tray, go back to the original litter. Because there's one message I want to give you, which is this. Your litter tray has got to be what your individual cat likes. Not what you like, what it likes. Because nothing, nothing on the earth is worse than a cat that wheezes outside the litter tray.